Good afternoon, folks. The Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilliga here taking a look at the tropical update for July 25th, 2019. Hey, things are actually calming down in the tropics. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, as always, uh, brought to you by good folks at uh, Pine Bell Gutters. Big thanks to them uh, for uh, helping us out with these uh, tropical updates. Temperature wise out there, sea surface temps uh, still balmy and not as warm as they could be, I suppose, uh, this time of the year, but uh, still balmy. In the, uh, mid to upper 80s across the, the Gulf. The Western Gulf, while this, you know, at 85 doesn't look that high, if you look at the, the contours here, it is showing kind of upper 80s to around 90. Now, you get out into the open Atlantic, and there's kind of a streak of warmer water up around uh, Bermuda. Uh, but as you get down into the Caribbean, there have been just constant thunderstorms on the northern side of South America that have helped uh, keep the Caribbean waters reasonably cool and not cold not too cold for tropical activity but cool enough uh, to the point where we're not looking down here going ooh, watch out it's you know low to mid 80s we'll take that uh, every day of the week all right back here closer to home gulf of mexico uh, looking at the infrared uh, we've been watching kind of the tail end of this front the last couple of days and we've kind of seen a blow up of uh, convection again out here a National Hurricane Center was keeping tabs on this last couple of days, now down to a 0%. They're actually not even highlighting uh, the area for a chance of development anymore out here. I will say uh, that you look at it and there is still some convection in here, uh, but the Hurricane Center says, well, you know, front's washed out. It's just regular thunderstorms uh, anymore. I zoom it back out and look at the wider view. You can see down into the Caribbean, there's really uh, not much happening uh, right now. Uh, even in the southern Caribbean, we've gotten rid of the showers and thunderstorms that have been hanging out down here, uh, but uh, the temp water temperatures haven't rebounded quite yet. We're going to have to keep tabs on that little wave uh, right down there as we head through the next couple of days and then just off the coast of Africa. Uh, this one as well. We're getting closer and closer to August, and it's that time of the year where we have to kind of keep tabs on what comes off of the uh, coast of Africa. Uh, no longer are we focusing just close to home. Uh, so as we head through the next couple of days, here we are again, the 26th, and we've got uh, this little wave right here. That was the first one I showed you, and then this little wave right back there, which was the uh, second one. So we set this thing into motion as we head through uh, the end of July here, and by the time we get a little bit uh, closer to August, I want to get us all the way into August. You can kind of see there's that wave right there. That's the first one that we were originally talking about by August 2nd. Uh, it's hanging out around the Bahamas. Again, that's the one that started all the way back here. The second wave that we are watching gets eaten up by a little bit of dry air, but what we're going to watch uh, over the kind of first, second, third, fourth, fifth is to see if it can make it through this dry air and get out on the other side of it without getting torn apart. Uh, we're going to go from the uh, third to the fourth here, and notice that this thing does kind of curly cue back around and it kind of peels back off to the north. Hopefully that holds, but it being so far out into the future, uh, it does bear watching as we head through the next couple of days. So there's your tropical update again, brought to you by the good folks at uh, Pine Belt Gutters uh, for July 25th of 2019. Thank goodness uh, things are quieting down a little closer to home.